everyone, this is Mr. Ghoul Gamer, and uh, just signing in to say, well, we haven't left the station yet, because we need to, I want to chat to Garrus and everyone else, because these guys have not had some screen time in a while, so. Command. How are you and CSEC. Why did you want to be a CSEC officer in the first place? Hmm. That's a good question. There were several reasons, I guess. Such as? Like what? Probably the same as most officers. I wanted to fight injustice, wanted to help people. I guess my father had something to do with it too. He was CSEC, one of the best. I grew up hearing about his accomplishments or seeing his picture on the vids after a big arrest. He's taking my resignation pretty hard. Uh, why? He's not impressed that you're going after Saren? My father's a CSEC man to the bone. Do things right, or don't do them at all, he says. He thinks I'm being too rash, too impatient. He's worried I'll become just like Saren. He actually talked me out of becoming a Spectre when I was younger, for the same reason. No kidding? You were asked to be a Spectre? Well, I was targeted as a possible Spectre candidate. Me and about a thousand other Turian military recruits. I could have received special training, but my father didn't like it. He despises the Spectres. He hates the idea of someone having unlimited power with no accountability. He wouldn't like you, Commander. Eh, no typical. Offense. Spoken like a true CSEC officer. Yeah, it's a speech I've heard one too many times. But Saren's not going to play by our rules, CSEC's rules. If you want to nail Saren, you need to send someone who isn't restricted by policies and procedures. Exactly. You're a quick learner, Garrus. We'll beat him at his own game. It's the only way to stop someone like him. I'm right behind you, Commander. Alright, Rex. So, we've got Saren on the Oh, run. yeah, we do. It won't be long now. Saren's good, but I'm better. Good. He's rotten. To the core. I could tell as soon as you I met him. Sarah? Why didn't you tell me this sooner? I would have if I thought it was important. Well, that's Michael. I'll decide what's important. Now tell me how you know Saren. This was a while ago. A bunch of mercs were bragging about a job out near the edges of the Terminus systems. They said it paid well and the boss was never around to ride them. They said he was looking for more men, too. So I checked it out. Saren recruited you? I didn't know Saren was openly recruiting mercs. It wasn't that open, and he only showed his face once. We'd been raiding ships in the area for months when we took out this massive cargo freighter. Our biggest haul yet. I was on board checking bodies for valuables, looking for some extra credits. That's when I saw him. What the him. hell was he doing? What did Saren want with the ship? I don't know what he wanted. He was just moving through the ship, watching. A couple of the mercs called him by name, but he never spoke to them. Never spoke to anyone. I had a really bad feeling about him, so I got the hell out. Didn't even wait to get paid. What was in the cargo? What kind of cargo was the freighter carrying? What was Saren after? I don't know. All I saw on that ship was food and medical supplies. There were some basic weapons, but nothing big. If there was anything of value on that ship, I didn't see it. That's why I didn't mention it. All about the ship. Whose ship was it? There was a Volus trading vessel. Big one. Lots of guards. But they were no match for That's us. That's it? That's the only time you saw him? Yeah. Didn't even know who he was. Still wouldn't if I hadn't joined up with you. But my instincts were right. Every other merc on that mission turned up dead within a week. Every damn one. Wow. He must be a badass if he can scare Rex. So long, Rex. Which makes the next part sure. laughable, but I'll tell you that when we get to it. Commander? Can we talk? Do you have a few minutes to talk? One on one? Sure. I, I was hoping to get a minute of your time off the record. Not for personal chat? 
It's not normal for an enlisted to speak informally with the commander. I figured since the crew was so small, you might be more permissive. I mean, that helmsman of yours. Most places, he'd be at Captain's Mast every day. I, I know things are different aboard the Normandy, but uh, I'm... I'm concerned about the aliens, Vicarian and Rex. With all due respect, Commander, should they have full access to the ship? Because they're aliens? You racist person. You don't trust their motives because they're not human. This is the most advanced ship in the Alliance Navy. I don't think we should give them free reign to poke around the vital systems. Engines, sensors, weapons. You're out of line. That's enough, Chief. You always second-guess your superiors? Ma'am, no ma'am. I'm sorry, I was out of line. I'll get back to my duties. You bitch. Commander? Do you have a few minutes to talk? One on one? I'm sorry, Commander. I wouldn't mind talking more later, though. What's your opinion of the last... Gotta admire those colonials. That's about the worst place for a colony I've ever seen. Given the option, I'd get the hell out of Dodge. Ma'am? Yeah, although Ashley is not really all that important to me, because, well, she's somewhat important, but still. Looking for supplies? Right, let's pray. Let's see what you... You bet, I can. Wow. Some of this gear, if that's that expensive, it must be worth it. And I believe we have some stuff, like Thorian Nerve Gas. Oh, 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 we're not even close to that amount. But yeah, you can see what I mean by your weapons, some of these weapons, will kick ass. You want these weapons. Hell yes, you want these weapons. Shots before overheating, 63. Damage alone would be enough to take out most of the bosses. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna sell everything. Not even a dent. Trust me, you want this gear here. And the pistol alone. Yeah. You see why I say you want some of this. Alright, well, since Tally offers nothing new, as far as I know, I guess we'll end it off here, and next time we'll be doing some micro missions. Because, well, we need the cash. If we especially want some of those badass pieces of gear. And trust me, you can get a lot. And I mean a lot more pieces of gear that do a lot more. I'm not kidding. Alright guys, see you guys then. Are you Hi coming guys. to check up on me? Oh yeah, before you get into anything, I forgot to add this. I was worried. You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. She's the You're best. In good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. Tell me about yourself. Up where we left off. You were telling me about your interest in the Protheans. Yes, yeah, I guys, I need to go out. I think the other I was two talking characters. about my interest in you and making a fool of myself in the I did not really know much about your species when we first met, Shepard. I found it hard to take humanity seriously. Your kind always seemed so rushed and high-strung. We're short-lived. We don't have the luxury of time. And Asari can live for a thousand years. We're lucky if we hit 150. That is true. At first I thought that was a weakness of your species. After spending time with you and your crew, however, I think it may actually be an advantage. 
You humans are creatures of action. You pursue your goals with an almost indomitable determination. It is an admirable trait, but also an intimidating one. Great, I intimidate people, just being me. You're scared of us? Unfortunately, the rest of the galaxy sees humanity as something of a bully. You run over anyone in your path to get what you want. It is up to people like you to change their minds, Shepard. Well, I'm trying. I'm doing the best I can, Liara. There is a By making it worse. The chose you to become a specter. They saw something special in you. The best of what humanity has to offer. I that case, your history. we I really are fucked. I cannot even imagine how horrible that must have been, but you did what had to be done. You could have asked. You didn't need to go behind my back. I apologize, Commander. After our last conversation, I was afraid I would say something stupid again. I wanted to know more about you. To understand what made you into the woman you are. There is something compelling about you, Shepard. I want to believe that. Are you that. sure you're interested in me? Or is it my visions of the Protheans? I admit, your connection to the Protheans had something to do with my initial interest. But it has grown beyond that. You intrigue me, Shepard. But I was not sure if it was appropriate to act on my feelings. I thought there might already be a relationship between you and Lieutenant Elenko. It's not serious. The Lieutenant and I are just friends. Nothing more. My mistake, then. I am not as adept at understanding human relationships as I thought. But what about us, Shepard? Is there a mutual attraction, or was I wrong about that, too? I want some lesbian action, so fuck yes. No, you are right. There is something between us. I knew it, and I knew you felt it, too. But does this not seem rather strange? Why do I feel so close to you? We have only known each other a short time. We are from two different species. We have almost nothing in common. This makes no sense. It doesn't have to be. These things never make sense. They just happen and we get swept up in the storm. You make it sound so chaotic. So dangerous. I'm a bad boy, baby. <laughs> a little danger makes things exciting. This is all a bit overwhelming. I am not used to this. You. I need some time. I understand. Take all the time you need, Liara. Thank you, Shepard. Let's... Let's just talk about... I should go. Goodbye. Until I get laid? Uh, fuck off. Nah, I'm kidding. I'm not that shallow, guys. I'm not that shallow. Well. I'm not. One of my friends is. But, anyway. Moving on. I'm not saying which friend either, but it's not Sid. Don't worry, and that guy can't get laid to fuck himself. What's Dax your opinion on the last mission? I'm glad there aren't many aliens like the Thorian. I don't think my stomach could take it. Hell of a deal you worked out with John, though. <laughs> if I ever get a speeding ticket, I want you to be my advocate. <laughs> uh, no, I I only do like good rates, where I get to shoot people as a potential fuck up. Sense of where the crew's at. Well, they know about the Stonewall. Nation. Those communications are classified, Lieutenant. Yes, ma'am. But you know the Navy grapevine. <laughs> They're on your side. They're pissed about the resistance we're getting, especially from our side. I'll have a better handle on all of it when my head stops hurting. Another L2 flare up. Why are you retrofit to L3s? You ever thought about going back under the knife? Maybe get an upgrade? No thanks, Commander. One slip and you can't remember. The L2s spike higher anyway. My abilities would drop with pain-free L3s. But it'd be a cold day before I turn myself over to a kinetic subsidiary. Angry? You distrust them that much. You know the records about the biotic training out on Jump Zero? They're all classified. Because the Alliance made mistakes. After first contact, Kinetics was set up to track Element Zero exposures and develop implants for humans. Once we had an embassy on the Citadel, Kinetics could bring in experts instead of taking it slow. Experts? The only experts would have to be aliens. Dead on. Turians, actually. That's why Kinetics kept it a secret. They were afraid of what people back home would think, asking the Turians for help if we 
had just fought a war with them. Why not the Asari? The Asari would have been more acceptable than the Turians. Yes, but the company didn't go through the Citadel. It would have made Earth look weak, so they discreetly hired some Turian mercenaries. You had a bad teacher then? Knuckles wrapped a few times, Lieutenant? Yeah, you could say that. Our instructor was a Turian by the name of Commander Vernus. A real hard ass. He basically had a free pass to break us if it would turn out a decent biotic. Kind of spiral from there, Commander. That's military discipline. Sounds like a classic drill instructor to me. The ones at the Makapa boot camp were brutal. Vernus didn't just push us because of his effective training. He liked it. Anyway, this is ancient. I should get back to my duties, Commander. We're here to make history. We'll talk another time, Lieutenant. Commander? Awesome, so now we got uh, Codex and Shepard's Locker. Why does this thing keep refilling? But, sod it, I'll take the stuff. Alright, so that's the... Yeah. Sorry guys, this is actually an extension onto the original episode, so I'll point this out in my thing. Alright.